In this demo, we will use NoTalk to turn our web page into a web server. We start out by defining a handler for a certain query pass. We want to build a little Twitter hacker news ranking system, so we will use this pass here um, and uh, define some behavior that should be triggered when we query that pass. Um, in the beginning, we start out with just showing a string. When we get a web browser out and uh, go uh, to that pass here, load it, uh, we will see there's just that string, but um, we can directly change it, apply the change, um, and then we will see uh, when we next query it, the output has changed. Let's make that behavior a little bit more interesting. We will add an API interface to Hacker News um, using another object that we can get from our object repository that will simply list the currently top-rated Hacker News stories. And we are able to either interact with this directly or we can use it programmatically from our handler. So let's open our handler, make it a little bit larger, and let's start to use this list output over here. We are interested in the values of that list and we can get a reference to that simply by dragging and dropping, dropping it over. And um, additionally, we are also able to evaluate these little code snippets here directly. This means when I press a shortcut, then I can directly run this expression here and I can then inspect um, the values inside of that um, output which allows me to not uh, use uh, documentation or, or something. I can just look at my data here and directly work with that. So for example, I see data here as a title uh, and let's just use the title. Um, let's create a little HTML snippet. We want to build an unordered list here and we are iterating over all the entries. And for each entry, we just want to add a little bit uh, of an HTML snippet to it, list element, and we are interested in the title. Okay. And we accept that, and we look at our um, output, our endpoint again, we will see this is simply that list that we also see over here. Let's add Twitter to the mix. Similar to the Hacker News API, we can access Twitter, log in, in here we can enter a search query and get a list of the most recent tweets for that query back. We can also combine the output of the Twitter list, uh, of the Hacker News list, and the current selection here with Twitter and by directly calling the search method. So we are not interested in searching for the entire entry, but let's say we, are, we only want to search for the URL of that entry to see how often it appears on Twitter. So entry, and we convert that into its URL. So now, when we click on a list item here, uh, we will automatically search Twitter for um, the Hacker News posting. Let's tweak our web server endpoint to reflect the Twitter search as well. We can click on edit and we can retarget our inspector to get a programmatic reference to Twitter and we can add that in here and we can directly call search 
for the entry that we get and its URL. And this will return us the tweets. Oops. Okay, we have that. And let's reflect uh, the amount of tweets in the uh, font size of the list element. Mm, let's use that here and we just count the tweets and I think we have to add a little multiplier here. Okay. So let's see what the effect of that is. Okay, so we are querying the tweets. And there we have it. Uh, listing by size, uh, showing how many mentions Aganus tweet got on Twitter. Uh, it's probably easier to see uh, if I directly load that in here. So this is how it looks. So with this approach we can directly program server behavior inside a browser and the next step is then to just publish that workspace that we have here um, onto uh, our server that will then host and run this kind of behavior headlessly. So this means that the API uh, that we've created still exists and will still work. Um, however, the user can then uh, basically close the uh, browser, the workspace that he created uh, that behavior in and uh, we continue to run it for, for him. At a later point, he can then retrieve that uh, and then continue to work on that. So that's uh, in a very short form what uh, NoTalk is about. Thanks for watching.